Hey everyone. So in this short tutorial series, we're going to walk through exactly what you need to do within Unity to set up a layered score. And that involves setting up a small 3D world, building some audio mixers, importing your audio files, and we're going to start with building that small little game world that we can start to uh, manipulate. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Unity. So I'm going to go to my Applications folder, find Unity, then open it up. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project and put it on my desktop. And let's call this uh, Layered Unity Project. I'm going to make sure it's 3D, by the way. I forgot to press that button. But basically, it was already defaulted to 3D. So make sure it's a 3D project. Now, uh, when I create a new project, the Unity will actually um, create a main camera for me and a directional light. And we're going to just create some other objects in our world. The first thing that we'll do is create a 3D plane and put it into our world. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Um, so I'm going to put make it 5 by 5 by 5. Actually, the Y variable doesn't matter because a plane is flat. So we can leave that at 1. And so I have some place to move around on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import some objects that allow me to move around in the space. So in order to do that, Unity has prepackaged assets for you for a first-person camera. We just go to the Assets menu. We import package, and then we have characters, and the characters allow us um, basically our pre-written script, pre-packaged items for us to kind of import into our project so that we don't have to build them from scratch. So I'm importing all of that stuff. We're going to find the first person controller and put it into our world so we can walk around the world itself. So while we're waiting, we um, uh, are just uh, waiting, I guess. Okay, almost done. All right, then down here in my project menu, I can go into the uh, assets that we imported in standard assets, into characters, and in characters you'll see um, a folder called first person character, prefabs, those are prefabricated objects. And you can take the first person controller and just move them out to your plane like so. You probably want him sitting above the world, above the plane so he doesn't fall through. And then when you hit play, then you should be able to look around your world using your mouse. And if I roll up to the edge, then I can fall off in space. Um, and that is our little 3D game that we have, just so that we more easily can see what's going on in our world. What I'll also do is just create a box someplace in the world. So 3D object, let's create a cube in our world. Here's the cube. It just gives us a point of reference. It's a little hard to see um, when I hit the play button exactly where anything is unless I actually put a cube in the world and walk around it and things like that. So we'll need that cube later anyways for uh, uh, another partner tutorial where we talk about how this cube, entering this cube, can actually trigger a layer to enter into our scene. So one other thing that I wanted to mention is that we want to save our scene. So let's save our scene by hitting Command S and save it as uh, level one. And that saves within the assets folder down here. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. In our next tutorial, what we'll be doing is we'll actually be importing in our layered music assets. See you on the other side.